The producers and distributors of Tech AV video programs welcome you to Program 3 in the Electrical Conduit Series. In this part of the program, you will learn how to mark out and install conduit on a wall surface, in a chased wall, and into ceilings. We begin this program by looking at the general procedures involved in surface-mounted installations. It is most usual that the positions of surface-mounted conduit runs will be drawn roughly by the electrician. Our first task, therefore, is to redraw the mounting positions neatly and clearly. This is done so that the work, upon completion, will not only look neat, but will also meet the requirements of local regulations. The tools and equipment you will need to mark the runs will include a tape measure for measuring, a chalk line for marking out straight lines, a straight edge for drawing lines, a square for checking the squareness of lines, a spirit level for checking that the lines are horizontally level, and drawing chalk or a marking crayon for marking the wall surfaces. Let us begin with the typical procedures for surface mounting conduit on wall surfaces. Two switch boxes are to be fitted in our example, so we begin by measuring their mounting heights and marking their positions accurately in accordance with the SABS code of practice 0142. The boxes are next set against the wall and leveled. Now the outside shape is chalked to the wall and the center positions of the conduit entry points are clearly marked as shown. Using the entry point positions, we next set our chalk lines. Both the vertical and the horizontal lines are set to a spirit level. A square is now used to ensure that the intersecting lines are at 90 degrees to each other. Using your straight edge, the lines can now be drawn solidly for clearer visibility. The switch boxes are next reset to their marks and leveled. When level, the mounting screw positions are marked. As we shall be using spacer type saddles on this rough wall, we will at this time mark the mounting screw positions on the vertical section. Saddles should be spaced at one meter intervals on long runs. Next comes the drilling of holes for the wall plugs that has to be done using the suitably sized masonry bit. Drill all of the holes for the switch boxes and the saddle bars and then tap in suitably sized wall plugs. Next, mount and secure all the fittings using correctly sized screws. With the boxes now attached, the next step is to measure for the desired lengths of both the horizontal and the vertical conduit runs. The required lengths are then cut to size, and the necessary adapter fixed as you learnt in the previous programs. The horizontal section is then installed as shown. In similar fashion, the vertical section is prepared and fitted to the box. All the saddles are now attached and secured. The job is completed by fitting and securing the lock nuts to all of the adapters. Let us now review how to mark out and install surface mounted conduit. 
Firstly, measure and mark out the switch box positions. Two, mark all the centers for the entry points into the switch boxes. Three, make a chalk line for the horizontal and the vertical conduit runs. Four, make sure that the lines are level and square and then make them more visible using your straight edge. Five, mark the mounting screw positions on the switch boxes when they have been set level to their marked positions. Six, set the saddle spacers on the vertical conduit line and mark their screw positions. Seven, drill the mounting holes and fit the appropriate wall plugs. Eight, attach and secure both boxes and the saddle spacers. Nine, measure and cut all conduit sections to length. Ten, glue on all adapters. Eleven, fit the conduit sections to the switch boxes and secure them with saddles. Twelve, fit and secure the adapter lock nuts to each end inside the boxes.